I know this was a nail biter, but we are on the, on the surface and we are transmitting. And uh, welcome to the moon. New tonight at 11. Data is now coming in from the first American spacecraft to land on the moon in 50 years. And it was a private company that made it happen. Late tonight, Mission Control confirmed the lander is upright on the moon's surface, but we still don't know if it's in good condition. But they're celebrating a remarkable achievement. What we can confirm, without a doubt, as our equipment is on the surface of the moon. An historic moment in lunar exploration. A U.S. made spacecraft landing on the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. Welcome to the moon. I'm very excited about this. Right there. The last time the U.S. landed on the moon was the Apollo 17 mission back in 1972. This is quite an emotional feeling to. Uh... To be here. That's the CEO of Intuitive Machines talking before the launch. He's the head of the company that created this robotic explorer named Odysseus. It's the first time a private company has landed a craft on the moon. This is a small little company trying to do something that is very bold. Odysseus is about the size of a phone booth. No crew members were on board. It landed Thursday night on the moon's south pole. None of the Apollo missions have landed in that area. The reason behind this was to explore that part of the moon and see if there's water in the form of ice before NASA sends a crewed mission there in late 2026. NASA paid the company $118 million for this mission. This will have a major impact on future exploration. We've been going to the moon for a while and we need to continue to. This spacecraft left Earth on February 14th, Valentine's Day, traveling roughly 620,000 miles. The mission, by the way, will last one week because the cold on the moon will freeze the solar batteries after a week.